Good morning to everyone, welcome to today's level one different strokes exercise program. Um, starting off, we're going to be repeating the same program from last week, where we're going to be doing it in reverse order. And this is the last one that we're going to be doing of this sort of themed of exercise program um, before moving on to a new one. Um, you will need a weight, a resistance band, and also a cushion for the exercises that we're going to be doing today. Um, and yeah, there's not going to be any breaks in between any of the exercises or allocated breaks. If you need to have a break, please press pause and have a drink. Let yourself have a quick rest and then join us back if you need to. But if you don't, then great. See how many exercises you can do until you do feel like you need, you need a break. Each exercise is going to be 40 seconds and we're going to be doing 12 different exercises and we're going to be repeating them once. We are going to do a quick warm up just because we're going to be doing a lot of exercise in the next 30 minutes so if you'd like to just um, make sure you've got somebody around to give you a little bit of assistance or help as well with some of the exercises that'd be great and yeah we'll get straight on into it so to start off with what we're going to do is we're just going to come down towards our feet keep the legs nice and straight and we're just going to be coming up and back down trying to reach down towards our toes stretching out the muscles in the back of our legs Good. After that, we're going to do some high knee marches. Good. And after that, what we're going to do is we're going to do some side stepping, so stepping one side to the other. Good. And then after that, we're then going to do some cat cow exercises. So we're going to arch our back down, looking towards our feet, and then coming up nice and tall, straight in our back, looking up to the ceiling. So arching the back like so, and then coming up nice and tall, looking up towards the ceiling, and then once more arching that back, and then coming up nice and tall, looking up towards the ceiling. Good. Once we've done that, we're then going to move on to some arm exercises. So we're going to do some shoulder rotations forward. We're then going to do some shoulder rotations backwards. And to finish off, we're just going to hold hands out in front and we're just coming side to side. We're going to give it a little bit of a shake before starting off today's exercise program. So to begin with today, what we're going to be doing is we're going to be doing um, high knee marches. So we're going to be just marching, bringing legs up as tall as we can, as high as we can, 40 seconds. So if you do need a little bit of assistance to help get one of those legs up, that's fine. You can use your hands as well to help support and lift the legs up as high as you can. Or if not, doing it without is fine too. We'll start in three, two, one, and go. So nice and high. Good, 10 seconds left. Five, four, three, two, one, and stop there. Good. The next one we're going to be doing is tricep extensions. This is going to be weighted. And what you're going to do for this one is making sure we start with the weight up against our chest. With our elbows curled around, we're then going to bring the weight down towards the floor and then back up nice and quick. So nice and slow on the way down, but up nice and quick. Okay, working on our triceps. We're going to start in three, two, one, and go. So 
nice and slow on the way down. Good, 15 seconds left. Five, four, three, two, one, and stop there. Good, moving on to the next one. We're gonna be doing the pillow squeezes. So using a cushion or pillow if you've got one, what we're gonna do is we're gonna place it between our knees and you're gonna then try and squeeze the pillow together Squeeze your knees together, squishing the pillow, and have a relaxing. You can assist with your hands if you need to push in. So get those knees to squeeze as tight as they can, or you can use your hands to hold onto the pillow as you squeeze it with your legs. Okay, so we're going to start in three, two, one, and go. I'm just going to hold it for a few seconds before releasing the pillow. Twenty seconds left. Keep going. Well done. Five, four, three, two, one, and stop. Good. Moving on to the next one. We're going to be doing leg raises for this one. So what we're going to be doing is either with a weight or an outer weight. We're going to have legs out in front. As we're holding on to the weight. We're bringing the weight towards our feet. And what you're going to do is you're going to try and lift the weight up, bring it up either overhead or as far back as you can. And then we're coming back to the feet and back up like so. If you want to do it without the weight, then it's the same exercise, which is not holding on to the weight. So coming down to the feet. Up nice and high, back down to the feet again. Okay, we're going to be doing this for 40 seconds again, and we're going to start at three, two, one, and go. So coming down towards the feet, and up nice and high. Good, keep going, 10 seconds left. Five, four, three, two, one, and stop there. Right, moving on to the next one. What we're going to be doing is we're going to be doing shoulder presses for the weight. So for this one, we're going to be holding on to that weight, keeping it up at the chest and we're going to be pushing up overhead and back down we're going to be doing this for 40 seconds like so okay we're going to start in three two one and go thirty seconds left Ten seconds. Five, four, three, two, one, and stop there. Good. Moving on to the next one. We're going to be doing opposite arms, the opposite foot. So basically, we're going to have holding hands together like so. We're going to be coming up one side, coming down towards the opposite foot, and then again up to the other side down towards the opposite foot, okay? 
we're going to do this for 40 seconds. Remember, if you do need a drink at any point, please press pause and join back after you've had your rest, because um, we are going to be trying to go for all of them. Ready? We're going to start in three, two, one, and dive. So, coming up one side, down towards the opposite foot, back again to the other side, down towards the opposite foot. We're going to keep doing that one side to the other. Ten seconds left. Five, four, three, two, one, and stop there. Right, on to the next one. We're going to be using a weight again, and this time we're going to be doing trunk twists. So keeping the weight out in front, we're going to be twisting one side to the other. Like so following it around, following the weights around with our eyes and our head. Okay, so we're going to start this in three, two, one, and go. So twisting one side to the other. Ten seconds left. Five, four, three, two, one, and stop there. Good. Moving on to the next exercise, what we're going to be doing is we're going to be doing banded hip flexion. So this one we are going to need a band. We're going to be wrapping the band around above our knees, so around our thighs, like so. Now, like last week, I can't really tie this one up very well, so you're going to have to bear with me just a little bit when it comes to this exercise. But essentially, we're going to wrap it around the knees like so. And then what we're going to do is we're going to come into high knee marches. However, those of you that can wrap the band up and tie it up, you're going to then support the knees with your hands coming up like so. Okay. We're going to do this for 40 seconds and then we'll move on to the next exercise. We're going to start in three, two, one, and go. Five seconds left. Three, two, one, and stop there. Moving on to the next exercise, what we're going to be doing is we're going to be working on mobilizing our muscles in our back or our muscle known as our lats. For this one, what you're going to do is either with or without a weight, you're going to hold the weight or your hands up in front of your eyes at 90 degrees, and we're going to be coming up. And back down, trying to keep our elbows as close together as we can, coming up and back down, like so, for 40 seconds. We're going to start in three, two, one, and go. Good. 
Less than 10 seconds. Five, four, three, two, one, and stop there. Just a few more exercises left to go. So for the next one, we're going to be doing off the elbow torso to foot. So for this one, we're going to have arms across our shoulders, and we're going to be holding hands together at our chest. We're just going to be going opposite elbow, opposite knee, like so. Or with our arms crossed, opposite elbow, opposite knee, whichever way you prefer. Just make sure that you're sitting forward in the chair when you're doing this one. We're going to start in three, two, one, and go. Good, keep going. Fifteen seconds left. Five, four, three, two, one, and stop there. Good, moving on to the next one, the second from last exercise, we're going to be doing hamstring curls. So this one, we're going to have knees bent at 90 degrees, counted them a little bit further out if you want to, but we're going to be making sure that our heels are pressed into the floor, and what you're going to do is you're going to press your heels to try and bring your feet back towards the chair, getting the most contraction in the hamstrings. We're going to hold it for a few seconds and then relax, and you're going to repeat that for the 40 seconds, okay? So we're going to start in three, two, one, and go. Digging in to the floor, and then relax. We're going to keep doing that for the 40 seconds. Fifteen seconds left. Ten seconds. Five, four, three, two, one, and stop there. For the last exercise, we're going to be doing what's known as upward rows. So for this one, we're going to be holding on to that weight with both hands, and we're going to be Make sure your elbows are out, backs nice and straight, and bring the weight up. Towards our chest, just below our pecs, like so, holding it there, back down onto our lap. We're just going to be doing that for 40 seconds before going into a cool down. So we're going to start in three, two, one, and go. So pulling up to the chest and back down. Five, four, three, two, one, and stop there. Well done. Good, well done today, everyone. I hope you guys have enjoyed today's um, different strength exercise program. We are going to do a little bit of a cool down now just to make sure that we've rest and we're, you know, we're ready to go with the rest of our day and that we don't cause any injuries, have any risk of any injuries later on today. So what we're going to do to start off with, I'm just going to get you guys to have Hands against your chest, and we're just going to trunk twist a few times, one side to the other, just nice and slow. Just to get a good stretch through our back and the muscles down the side of our trunk. Good. After that, we're then going to bring knees to chest. Hold it for a few seconds, and we're going to alternate to the other side.
Good, one more both sides. And then we're gonna bring arms up above our head and hold it for a few seconds. We're coming back down and coming back up again. Coming back down, coming up again once more. Coming back down. And what we're gonna do after that is we're just gonna then bring our elbow, elbows, bring our shoulders to our ears, come back down, stretch out the muscles in our neck, and through our traps, through the shoulders, coming back up again, down, and then one last time, coming back up, and down, just giving it a bit of a shake, loosen up afterwards. So again, well done today, everyone. I hope you guys enjoyed today's Fit and Strokes exercise program and that you've enjoyed the last sort of six weeks of this similar theme of exercise program. We are going to be moving on to something different next week. Um, so I hope you guys have a lovely week and I look forward to seeing you next week. Take care, everyone. Bye.